Although Okumura Masanobu is not as famous as Katsushika Hokusai, I think that he's definitely one of the great contributors of ukiyo-e at the early stage, around the 17th century to the 18th century. This is the painting of the main street in the Yoshiwara, the red light district. People from different classes are strolling on the street. We can see samurai getting out of the palaquin. Two courtesans with luxurious garments are about to enter the brothel. At the center, a young girl who is expected to be a courtesan is playing the regular customer's sleeves. This woodblock print seems like an ordinary print of Yoshiwara for us, but it was sensational at that time. Can you guess why? The answer is quite basic, especially for the Western world. That is the rules of perspective. In those days, Japan was in the middle of isolation. Masanobu learned the rules of perspectives from the Chinese paintings, which were affected by European paintings. Not only implement the rules of perspectives into ukiyo-e, but he also created multiple styles of woodblock prints. To expand his activities as an artist, he started the business of publishing and created many artworks without the order of publishers that general artists struggle with. He devoted his life to ukiyo-e for 60 years. Let's see how he contributed to the development of ukiyo-e. He started his career by selling the copy book of Tori Kiyonobu. At that time, there was no concept of copyright. It was general that popular products were duplicated and distributed in commerce. Since his talent of depicting was remarkable, his popularity enhanced and succeeded to become an ukiyo-e artist at the age of 16. Since he didn't belong to any ukiyo-e school, he studied the artworks of Hishikawa Moronobu and Tori Kiyonobu by himself. Tori Kiyomasu was the rival who learned paintings under the master of Tori Kiyonobu, and he contributed to completing the characteristic style of Tori's school. By doing so, he was way ahead of his rivals. On the other hand, Masanobu was struggling with finding his strength. Since he became popular with the talent of depicting, he was required to cultivate more individuality. He broke through this challenge by focusing on Bijinga. For example, he depicts a beautiful woman after the bath, a rooster, and a ham. The woman had been feeling fresh after washing out her sweat, but when she saw a couple of birds, she felt jealous and sweated again because they reminded her that she's single. Masanobu depicts this scene based on his Japanese classical poetry that he was familiar with. Also, it looks that this is an ordinary print of beautiful woman, but it is regarded as an erotic print because when we see the woman from the rooster's eyes, it might see the woman's naked body. In this way, Masanobu depicted beautiful women with adding Japanese classical poetry. He gave up competing with his rival in the same field and found a new place where he can be a superstar. When the two young talented ukiyo-e artists were developing through friendly competition, Masanobu was faced with the tragedy of his rival's sudden death. Masanobu's achievement was remarkable, especially after the death of his rival. Firstly, he started the business of the publisher. By owning the right of choosing what to create, he became the leading authority in many fields such as depicting landscapes, samurai, and flowers and birds. While he tried various styles, he made woodblock prints applying the rules of perspective. He also depicted kabuki actors from the different way of Tori school. In those days, ordinary people were enthusiastic about the beautiful kabuki actor, Sanogawa Ichimatsu. For the fans who were not able to go to see kabuki, Masanobu invented hashirae, which can be put on the post of the house. The only thing he didn't try is to take the jobs of Tori school, which provides posters to kabuki theaters. With Masanobu's popularity and ability to take action, it might have been possible, 
but he didn't do it on purpose with respect for Kiyomasu, his rival. Along with Masanobu's endless evolution, the color printing of ukiyo-e was also developed from black single color to several colors based on red. The emergence of Nishikie, vivid colors woodblock prints, is a year after he died in 1764. Thanks to Masanobu's great achievement, ukiyo-e artists of the next generation could depict various themes with vivid color woodblock prints. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave me a comment even a short one if you have anything. It is a great pleasure if you subscribe and give a big thumbs up. I shall see you in my next videos.